Aaron, how did Joey Gallo injure his neck and any idea to the severity of that? Uh, we'll see. I, I think he got some treatment on it last night, um, you know, and then I think was trying to just kind of work through it all morning and, you know, with different stretches and stuff. But I think after his first at bat, um, it was just barking too much on him. So we'll we'll see. You know, he got some, he got some more treatment, obviously, during the game. So we'll see where we're at, uh, you know, for tomorrow. Will, will he have any additional testing or anything? No, not at this time. And just how unfortunate is that considering the way he had been swinging the, the bat lately? I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I, hopefully it's just something where, you know, you kind of neck goes out or you sleep on it wrong or whatever. Um, you know, I, I've been there before where it, you know, really affects you swinging. So hopefully it's something that they can kind of work their way out of there and, and be something that, you know, potentially hopefully he's back in there tomorrow, but we'll see. Going to the fifth inning, that unraveled pretty quickly. Um, Gary Sanchez on that foul ball. What happened on that play, and does he need to make that play? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, I, he just missed it. You know, it's you know, obviously, anytime a pop up to the catcher right behind home plate, you know, it has that backspin, so it comes back. But you know, catchers are usually prepared for that. Gary's actually usually really good with with pop ups. I, you know, I think he probably got a little too upright and and didn't move enough as it as it kind of worked its way back to the field but yeah I mean yeah you got to make that play do you think that affected heel um no I don't no not necessarily I mean you know things happen in the course of a game you know a mistake an error whatever you got to be able to deal with it and move on I, I think he was probably tiring a little bit at that point um, you know, unfortunately, he hits the next guy and then and then walks the next guy on four pitches. But I felt like the last couple innings leading up to that, he was able to work his way out of trouble. But, you know, it was probably fatigue a little bit. Other questions? Joel Sherman, go ahead. Aaron, in the uh, postseason last year, the combination of he wasn't hitting and the defense was rough, you ended up starting Higashioka over Sanchez. Have you put any thought into, you know, Gary's had a couple of key defensive miscues now that have helped cost you games. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have any thoughts about changing the balance of how you use your catches these last two weeks? Um, well, I mean, they're look, they're both going to play. Um, you know, Hig Higgy's obviously, you know, earned that earned more playing time here over the last couple of years with his outstanding play and obviously what he brings behind the plate so I mean it'll be a day-to-day -day situation and try and play the guy that gives us the best chance to win that night Eric Boland go ahead <laughs> Aaron Hill's, for the most part, been able to pitch around some of his command issues since he's been up. But have you been able to pinpoint why it is that, that he's kind of struggled with his command, or is that just one of those things a young Well, yeah, I mean, that's through? where he is in his development. You know, I, I think we knew bringing him up here that, you know, in a lot of ways he's not a finished product yet. Um, and But he's done a really good job up here of, of kind of navigating that, being able to make some adjustments on the fly, being able to make some adjustments in game. Um, his poise has been excellent. He's made a lot of big pitches. So in games where, you know, like today or, you know, go to past games where he's, you know, <clears throat> not giving up any runs. Typically he's been in some trouble in a couple of those games. He's been able to make a pitch and, um, you know, he's pitching with confidence. And, you know, I thought for the most part today, especially early on, um, I thought he threw the ball really well. I thought his slider was maybe as good as we've seen it. He hung the one to Chang. But other than that, I thought he had a really good slider going today. The willingness to throw it in any count really helped him. But he got himself in enough trouble with, you know, a walk here, a walk the next inning to where, you know, really made him, you know, throw a lot of pitches there. He's up in the mid-80s there in the early on in the fourth inning. So, it's a little bit of a grind for him, but um, I feel like he's competing and continuing to get better uh, all the time. Greg Joyce, you have the next question. Aaron, what did you see from Savali that made things tough for the offense? Yeah, I mean, he just does a little bit of everything. I mean, he's really good at changing speeds, uh, really good strike thrower, um, but 
kind of nothing's really the same. You know, he changes shapes with the slider and the cutter, you know, mixes in the split, runs a two-seamer in on you, uh, has the ability to really slow you down with the big curveball. Um, so that's kind of who he is, a, a, a big mix of pitches, um, real good feel for those pitches. I actually I, I thought he threw the ball really well for them today. We can go next to Bob Clappish. Hey, uh, Aaron, how tough is it to, to not be able to, to generate any momentum so far? Not enough, anyway, these last couple of weeks. Um, you know, you lost a tough one in Baltimore. Then you have a good game last night, and you come back today, and it was a one sided game. I mean, obviously, you like to see it. Um, they like to go on a roll at this point. Yeah, so I don't really have time to dwell on how, you know, of course, we got to play well. You know, what, whatever games left we have, um, it's right in front of us. Um, you know, we got to win win a lot of these games if we're going to be where we want to be. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'd like to roll off however many in a row. And, um, you know, especially right now, these time of year, these, you know, losses are, are you know, sting a little bit more. But you also realize that the urgency of now tomorrow – and we've got to get back on the horse and go out and hopefully play a really, really strong game with our ace going. 